What's up, beautiful beings? I got a really funny message here from my private uh, woke as fuck old uh, podcast chat room on Telegram, and I just I dropped them an answer that was pretty good, and I thought I'd I thought I'd share because you might like it. So, a buddy posts. I have a big question for the man, Alex Lazarev. Alex, I've been following you since you were a PUA. You had thousands of followers. You had fame. You had wealth. Why, oh why, did you throw it all away to have only a few hundred followers and reincarnate yourself into this spiritual guru? Why? You would have made lots more money and fame had you stayed in PUA. Then another comment. You went from having thousands of subscribers to only a few dozen. Doesn't that matter to you? Or your ego at all? That's a really good question. Um, and I think the answer to it should be heard by all people. Yeah, I was going to do the reply in that video message, but it was just nowhere near as good and could never be as good as my authentic in the moment reply on my phone to that guy. All you only enjoy and let me know what you think in the comments and if that shit made sense to you. Peace. What's up, Joe? The not so spiritual Eskimo. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, well, the answer to your question is uh, fairly straightforward. But if you've really been listening to the Woke as Fuck podcast from the past, or the video is over on I Project Love, you wouldn't be asking the question. But I'll entertain you anyway. Um, once you remember your true nature as love, the only thing you're interested in is using your unique gifts to the best of your ability in service to your fellow brothers and sisters on the planet. That's it. So, if I'm no longer doing PUA shit, it's because it was no longer my highest mission to be doing that in that moment. That's it. Money, fame, power, all that shit only appeals to the ego. When you're serving the big boss, a.k.a. source, consciousness, love, you're not after it anymore. If you really, really, really can have a massive impact on the world in your unique mission by being more famous or more rich or whatever... Sure, you can still, those things will come. But it won't be because you want to be rich. And it won't be because you want to be famous. It'll be because you know you're doing your mission. And you're spreading love and light. And the universe is like, okay, well, you need to be more famous now so you can do more of that. And so it happens. But, and only the ego grabs a hold of that and goes, oh, get me, I'm so awesome. And then you fucking get your, knocked on your ass. And this is what happens to tons of people who get famous or rich or whatever and then they get in their ego and then they lose the money or they do something stupid and they lose the fame or whatever and the, the cycle goes on and on and on so yeah so I'm doing what I've been called to do waking up the masses through comedy using humor that's my unique gift and of course with the I project love stuff you know sharing spiritual knowledge uh, bringing people together, something I've always been doing, but specifically so that people can, you know, support each other and building the new earth. Yeah, so comedy, bringing people together, healing. These are my gifts. So anything I'm doing in those realms, I'm supported and magical things happen uh, all the time because I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Resistance, i.e., you know, things not going the right way, it's not working out, blah, 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 problems. It's because you're not on the right path. If you're on the right path, you keep saying shit like, wow, what a coincidence. That person showed up just when I needed them. Or, wow, you know, my partner showed up even though I wasn't even looking for somebody. What a coincidence. It's amazing. You know, it just, it, it's, it's constant synchronicity when you're in alignment. When you're not in alignment, it's constant not synchronicity. So it's pretty obvious when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. I, uh, I share that in my comedy act that about, uh, I don't know, very soon after, like a week after I gave away my pickup business, by the way just gave it away, didn't want money, just was like fuck it, I'm done with this, a week after that, I was I went super viral on that video where the fucking guy attacks me with a bike when I'm just trying to wake people up using humor, 
That's a miracle that happened a week later. But it happened because I trusted the universe, knowing I was going to make money and whatever, be successful in another way. So much so that I was able to give away my business, not knowing where I was going to make an income from. Because I trusted the universe and I, I was doing what my soul wanted me to do, which is wake people up using humor. And guess what? I made that video. Some fu- I was just doing my thing. It's a fucking crazy guy attacks me. And shit, shit goes viral and boom, I got thousands of people. Uh, over 20,000, by the way. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That was from my ego. Uh, on Instagram, that love me for what I'm doing now. Authentically, which is using humor to wake people up. And uh, it will continue be, to be that way, you know, as long as I'm doing what I'm actually passionate about and it's in service to creation, it's going to be successful. But not successful in the way that I'm going to measure, like, oh, well, if I get this many views, I'm successful. No. It will be how the universe decides it needs to be successful because I'm not running the show. Creation is running the show. I'm just listening and doing my part. And uh, that's really the, the, the differentiator here. I, I know I'm not the person, I know I'm not in charge. I'm just fulfilling my role in this video game hologram of consciousness that we're in. That's what I'm doing. That's what we're all doing. I'm just aware of it because I've been on the healing and awakening path for so long and I've had experiences, you know, to understand what the fuck's actually going on here. So I would under I would always just recommend everybody do that. The answer to every question is, have you done your shadow work? Have you done your healing? Have you cleaned up your diet? Do you know what your soul's purpose is? Are you living your soul's purpose? Are you actually doing what you want that makes you excited every day? And if the answer is not, why not? What do you have to change in your life to get to the point where you are doing exactly what you're here to do every day of your life? There's nothing else to do but do the personal work required to get to that point where you're doing exactly what the fuck you need to be doing. There's nothing else. So I've done enough of that where now I'm clear on who I am and what I'm doing. So I'm able to kick ass. That doesn't mean that I don't have problems or I, you know, like I'm, I got stuff, believe me, like anyone else. There's stuff I'm good at. There's stuff I'm fucking not good at. But my intention is always to live my life in a way where everybody wins. And I do that to the best of my ability. Anyway, that should have answered the question. Sending you mucho love. And uh, how dare you suggest I have dozens of followers, dick face? What the hell is the matter with you? <laughs>